after this performance tonight or this morning, I guess, depending on what coast you're on, do you believe that Naoa Inoue is, in fact, number one pound for pound boxer in the world? It's a subjective question. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts. I'm, I'm not knocking Terrence Crawford off number one quite yet. Um, it's it's still, yeah, I, I like how Tyrone puts it in the comments, actually. Uh, Bud 1A in a way wouldn't be I said I, this I said this the other night yeah and I, I think it's really close I, I still think it's it's Terrence Crawford like Terrence Crawford the last I saw him he destroyed destroyed Errol Spence and people could say what they want about the weight cut and this this and that this was welterweight champion versus welterweight champion Errol Spence was the a-side uh Errol Spence I feel like had uh at least at the start of the night more fans in the arena he definitely had more fans on Twitter going into that fight and uh, Terrence Crawford beat his ass, knocked him down several times at one point with a jab. It was weird to see him dominate like that. And, you know, maybe we'll get a rematch in um, 2024. I think that the rematch will be maybe a tad more competitive, but I still think Terrence Crawford's going to pick him apart and pr probably stop him again. So I think Terrence Crawford's number one, a uh, pound for pound. It's totally subjective. I think in a way is easily next on the list and we'll see what happens with Alexander Usyk and Tyson Fury because I think it gets interesting really if Usyk wins but regardless of who wins because Fury still has to be on pound for pound lists and then I think whoever wins that fight is probably going to be in the top three I think Usyk already is third so there's a conversation of does he rise if he beats Tyson Fury but in a way is on that list and he's in the top two to some people he's not too and it's really a testament to like how great and how dominant he's been in his career. Because again, he got the knockout tonight. And it wasn't a TKO. It was a straight knockout. Martin Tapales had nothing left, didn't answer the 10 count. So to me, I think Tyrone nailed it. And I know you agree with him. Yeah, I think it's 1A, 1B. I think it's interchangeable because in a way, he's undisputed in two weight classes. That's crazy to me. And he did it in a year. The fact that he did it in a year, it's hard not to put him number one. But then I take a look at what Bud Crawford did to a guy like Spence, dropping him four times in a fight where, listen, Spence was that dude before that fight. We're going to see a rematch. I think it kind of goes the same way. Maybe Spence fights a little bit better, but it's hard not to have, it's hard to pick. They're the top two guys in boxing right now. I think there are two really good faces to have in boxing of the sport. And I know some people are still learning about a guy like Inouye, but internationally, I mean, this guy is this dude. Like, to be undisputed in two weight classes, I think he could edge it out for Bud for me. I think I might put Inouye 1A and put Bud 1B. Like, just give him a slight edge um, in that, even if that's not an edge. And um, I think it's one of those things where if Inouye continues to do this, if he ends up getting a TKO or a KO, on Lewis Neary. Yeah, like he's running through these weight classes. So I, I think I give a little bit of the edge to anyway because you're undisputed in two weight classes. Um, but Bud is right there. It's it's a really, really tough question. I don't even if Tyson Fury beats Usyk, I don't think I place him above Bud in any way. I I just I just can't. I mean um, Crawford's also undisputed in two weight classes. That's true. So th there's that too. Like that, I think people forget. Like because he's been at welterweight so long, I think people forget. Like he was dominant at lightweight. He was but he's not in that way. Lightweight. Yeah, but he's not I technically in that weight class. Where, in a way, did it in a year, right? Becoming undisputed yeah. in two weight classes. That's why I'm like, oh, I give him the edge there. Yeah, I'm. I'm still giving it to Buff for now, but it's, it's very close. Uh, let's see what the commenters say. And Jesus, by the way, also says I'd rather see Sam Goodman versus In a Way 122 next. I think the only person watching the show that has said that, um, I would be <laughs> open to it, um, because Sam Goodman again is one of the only guys you'll find who's still undefeated in this weight class who deserves a shot. And number one, um by a couple of sanctioning bodies or at least one london boy says not a single mark on the monster he looks prettier than he did when he walked in the <laughs> ring lol <laughs> thank you london boy for the comment all right let's get to some pound for pound a conversation tyrone the grace says yeah you can edge crawford i think bud would have been undisputed sooner but for the sure. politics i agree i with agree that. yeah Makeshift 23, I give it to Inouye slightly over Bud because of how quick Inouye was able to become two-time undisputed. This is what you were saying, Chantel, uh, not to mention winning 23 
of his 26 fights by knockout. Crazy. Um, Hustle Man. It's hard to say. It's what you prefer. In a way, back to back undisputed. Moved 122 and stopped the man and stopped the second best for undisputed. Yeah, I mean, look, him stopping Stephen Fulton, I think, shocked Crazy. a lot of people in the way he did it, right? I'm still stunned. Like, I still don't know what happened. I remember watching that fight and just being, like, utterly in shock and disappointed. Like, the fact that Marlon Tapalis went 10 rounds with Inouye today and Stephen Fulton just couldn't get anything going. Like, even when I said I gave one round to Fulton, people were like, you're crazy. Right. And Fulton would be probably the betting favorite if you fought Marlon Tapalis right now. Be Although quiet. I think, it's, I think it's we, you have to be quiet because we just got a donation. Thank oh. you, Clifton. <laughs> We appreciate you. Once you donate, we read your comments right away all yes, the time. And we do appreciate true. you. Uh, no one is further ahead of their competition than the monster. Number one. I can't even argue that. Like, it's, yeah, uh, Well, the, the only argument is Terrence Crawford. You can't it's, argue it's Usyk. Tough. Can't yeah. argue Usyk. I don't think anyone's putting Usyk number one. The only one you could argue is Terrence Crawford because of how he beat Errol Spence. Yeah. Um, yes. And this is the thing, Hustle Man. Like, 21 and 0 world title fights. Because after five fights, he was already fighting for world championships. <laughs> Like that stat is unreal. Um, but I think right now boxing is in a really good place. I think we've got some really good fights this year, and hopefully we continue to get that in 2024. Um anyway.